In the heart of oil country, signs of transition are all around. It might look like a gravel parking lot right now, but once Heimdall covers the ground in these small white pellets, they'll absorb carbon dioxide as wind blows over them. It sounds simple, and maybe people are like, okay, what's the catch? Yeah, I'm waiting for that too. What is the catch? Calcium looping has been known for a long time. Calcium looping involves limestone, a common type of rock humans have been using since 9000 BC. So here's how it can be applied to carbon capture. You start with limestone, which is mostly calcium carbonate. They heat it up to remove the carbon and add water, and then you've got calcium hydroxide, which looks like this. It's also known as slaked lime. And from Heimdall, it looks like this, like these white pellets. And when these are exposed to the air, a natural reaction takes place with that calcium hydroxide. It's pulling carbon dioxide out of the air, combining and essentially recreating that calcium carbonate that you started with. So then they can heat this back up, pull out the carbon dioxide, and start the process all over again. The catch to it is that... Susan Brantley is a geochemist at Penn State University and explained that this process requires energy. In this case, Heimdall is using fossil gas instead of wind or solar. Making the grains that they put out, that costs energy. Burning off the CO2, that costs energy. And then, you know, getting the CO2 down into the ground costs energy. So basically, it's a tax, you know, on the whole process of, that's producing the CO2 in the first place. It is energy intensive, but those combustion gases will be sequestered but it's a good starting point. I like psychology a lot, and there's this uh, nirvana fallacy where you try to perfect things too much, right? It's, there's no point in doing it unless it's gonna be perfect. This is an imperfect solution, but we will continuously chase perfection from here on. But this is also a way to do this big and do this now. That's the point. The latest United Nations climate report underscores that carbon capture is necessary to quickly address climate change, and that's part of why Heimdall started capturing carbon while still waiting for EPA approval to store that carbon dioxide deep underground. Like That's a very important point is this isn't optional. CO2 emissions have a price. What matters is that ultimately there needs to be some economic value to removing CO2. And if all proves CO2 successful, in, the company's founder says the potential here might sound almost too good to be true. So for uh, a billion tons of CO2 per year, say, which is on the lower end of what the IPCC estimates the climate system is going to need of carbon removal, we're talking, you know, a million acres. That is less than 0.1% of the state of Texas. So we can literally completely undo the damage that has been caused in the last few centuries of, of industrial revolution. Wow, Chase, I mean, fascinating. And in your report, you just cited an expert who said carbon capture is necessary to fight climate change. But I wonder, is it enough? Is it possible to capture enough carbon to really make a difference? Yeah, so there's, it, it's both and. Yes, we need carbon capture, but we also still have to do the thing that's clear. We have to stop burning oil and gas. We've got to transition away from that. So the sequestration, the storage of the carbon dioxide is really important here. Um, it's, it's still very early. Mm -hmm. There's a, a lot of EPA review that's still going on, but if they can get this down, if they can successfully inject it deep underground and store it, the USGS thinks that we can store in these geologic structures, formations underground, 560 years worth Whoa. of U.S. emissions. So there's a lot of potential if they can figure out that part of the equation. Wow. Wow. And it's just captured down there. It just stays I mean, down it's, there. it's basically like injecting it down in some of the same pockets where oil and gas comes from in the first place. Yes. So it's mm. these existing geology. Huh. Chase Kane, always yeah. introducing us to yes. something new and cool. Thank you so much. Of course. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.